The tough thing with shoes is it's a, a very individual thing. I think the first thing somebody should look at when choosing a shoe is what fits their foot, what feels comfortable. If somebody tried on a bunch of shoes and said, yeah, that's the most comfortable, that was actually the best shoe for them as far as injury preventions. The main differences between a trail shoe and a road shoe, generally more traction. Most trail shoes have some sort of plastic or polyurethane or compressed uh, EVA foam plate that runs at least on the forefoot, sometimes the full length of the shoe. And it's just gonna keep a pointy rock from poking through and hitting your foot. If it's just foam there, there's not a lot to keep a rock from hitting you, maybe giving you a stone bruise. And then a lot of times you'll see what they call an overlay or a, a stiffer material that wraps around the shoe that just keeps your foot from sliding internally side to side, keeps you more on top of the shoe. Road shoes, you'll definitely see maybe a little bit lighter weight materials in the upper, but those shoes may not be enough to keep you stable when you're going through a bunch of rocky terrain. Um, you know, kind of on one end of the spectrum, you have stuff that's pretty thin, uh, doesn't have a ton of cushioning for people who prefer a little more natural stride. It's really not going to get in the way of, of how your mechanics would work from barefoot, but just with a little bit of protection and cushioning to keep you from perhaps hurting your feet. Kind of going on the other end of the spectrum, a lot of people run in what are coined maximalist shoes. Um, they have a lot of cushioning. They have a lot of rocker. And what rocker is, the shoe is kind of curved so that it rolls forward easily. When you get into these really thick shoes, they're just, they're just not gonna flex as easily at the toe. So to get by that, they just kind of roll forward. Uh, a lot of people like these shoes. They can be very efficient. Uh, they can be very comfortable. Comes down to what works for you.